Complete Harpa AI Tutorial 2023, how to use Harpa AI extension. In this video, we're gonna be discussing an amazing new extension that Google has brought us, and this extension is called Harpa AI. And basically, you can do anything with it, like all the endless possibilities that you can do on ChatGPT, you can do the same with Harpa AI. Please do make sure to watch this video till the end, though. You know, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now, basically, how are you gonna to come to Harpa AI? Okay, first of all, there's going to be a link in the description, which you can use to just, you know, enter and sign in. Okay, so just click on the link if you want to. Or you could always uh, go ahead and uh, just go on your URL, type harpa.ai. That's it. Okay, now once you write that, you're going to come to this website, harpa.ai, your browser's mind. ChatGPT Chrome Automation Copilot. Okay, now let's say you know you want to write some seo optimized blog posts for your some of your niche or something like that we could do all of that okay and we're going to be talking about all of it so please just pay attention so first of all obviously you get the option of adding it to chrome right here and it's joined by eighty thousand plus professionals so you know keep that in consideration then we're going to come down here you know ai agent for chrome integrate chat gpt to google search automate websites write text emails tweets seo articles bing ai and notion ai alternative obviously you come down here you can see you can use it with google you can use it uh, with opera and much more get more done on the web call harpa on any website by just clicking alt a like once you have you know added a harpa to your website just click alt a and it's going to call harpa to the right side like this so first of all it has ai assisted search you know it shows responses from you know chat gpt alongside google search extract and summarize pages and chat with a proper ai and obviously buy when price actually drops you know track when any product is back on sale or its price hugely drops on amazon aliexpress walmart ebay etc then you have page okay aware gpt prompts use one of 100 plus page aware commands for marketing seo copywriting hr engineering etc then you have track competitors you know monitor your competitor websites for changes convert websites to apis trigger ifttt with make.com an ai writer on any website you know write any text content with ai from twitter and linkedin replies to emails and seo optimized articles you can also summarize YouTube videos where, you know, you have extract key takeaways from hour long YouTube videos with the help of generative AI. And, you uh, you know, you also have stuff like privacy by design and all that. And as you come down here, you can see chat GPT assistant for, you know, you have, first of all, marketing and SEO, you know, huge thing. Then you have copywriting. Okay. Generate any type of text content from Twitter tweets to YouTube video scripts and Amazon descriptions. And we're going to be obviously clicking and checking all these out in uh, great detail. So I'm just giving you a brief overview of everything. You know, even these, like uh, you can hover over these and you can see the different things. So AI assisted search, as you can see, it gives you codes and scripts. If you want any, you can see the price drops as so. You have the page aware prompts, as you can see, you can summarize the page, page to tweet, track competitors, all this. So these are the prompts over here. But uh, obviously moving on again, first of all, there's marketing and SEO. Segment your audience, research SEO keywords, create marketing strategies and generate blog outlines and articles. Then there's copywriting, you know, generate any type of text content from Twitter tweets to YouTube video scripts and Amazon descriptions. Then there's productivity, you know, get information instantly with ChatGPT on Google search, summarize web pages, find alternatives and extract data. And then finally, there's HR and recruiting, you know, improve your resume, write LinkedIn replies, generate Upwork cover letters and Fiverr gigs. There's product development, okay, write and inspect code, get answers to stack overflow questions with AI, rewrite code between language and stacks, and then finally there's spreadsheets where you can get instant help with Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel formulas, generate macros with AI. And as you can see, it's a free chat GPT extension for all these different things. Like, first of all, there's Google search, you know, something that is obviously mostly going to be used with, you know, Google search is something that's a wide phenomenon. A lot of people use it. And uh, for sure, this is something that it's more widely going to be used with. Then, uh, obviously, if we move further on, uh, there's uh, more stuff that uh, we can talk about. 
Uh, there's LinkedIn. Okay, get suggestions from your LinkedIn resume, generate LinkedIn posts, hashtags, etc. You have Facebook where you can generate Facebook posts and articles, ads for your, you know, meta and all that stuff to make money. You have Instagram again for your hashtags, captions, again, ads, outreach, DMs, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Amazon, Upwork, Fiverr, Gmail, Pinterest, Quora, and Stack Overflow. All these great websites that you can, you know, get along with. And then obviously there's FAQs and you can see these FAQs down here. Like if you have any confusion in anything that Harp has to offer, you can come down in their FAQs and actually, you know, um, see if you get the answer that you want. And if you still don't, you can always contact them if you want to. But yeah, now let's go ahead and one by one, see all the different things that it brings us. So these are all the things when it comes to marketing and SEO. Okay. Chat GPT for marketing and SEO. So Harper AI integrates page aware chat GPT commands into your web browser. You know, first of all, it segments your audience. It's researches SEO keywords. It creates marketing strategies and it generates blog outlines and articles. Okay. So first of all, there's extract and research SEO keywords, you know, the basic where you can extract keywords from competitors, article, perform keyword research, find keyword density and LSI keywords. Then you have keyword report, you know, where you can create a proper keyword report and SEO content plan from one keyword. You have keyword strategy generator, where it provides a detailed strategy for any SEO keyword for you. And you have segmenting your audience, you know, break your audience into targetable groups with similar needs. You have monthly content calendar, get a well-organized four week content calendar that targets your primary keyword using transaction, long tail keyword and clickbait titles. You have weekly content calendar. Okay. Get a well-organized one week content strategy and calendar that targets your whole primary keyword. Okay. And you can use this command for yourself if you want to, Then you can also outrank SEO articles. Okay. Basically outrank the competition with an in-depth SEO optimized article, navigate to the web page with an article to outrank, then run this whole command. And as you can see, like these commands that you can see, you can always use them right now. If you want to just click on use command, then you have topic authority, create a table with article ideas to help you build a topic authority. And you have SEO audit, you know, audit and improve your content for E E E A T generate H one and meta title. You have keyword cluster, a cluster, a list of keywords based on their semantic relevance, a six months SEO plan where you can create SEO strategies competitive with the top websites in the given space. You have a landing page structure where you can create a landing page structure with attention grabbing headlines about the given topic, product or service content ideas generator where you can, you know, generate a whole list of content ideas for a business product or service for a blog. And you have meta description from text, generate a 20 words meta description from the given web page text properly for yourself. Promotional email writer, write marketing email that promotes only product or service. Email notifications on item forgotten in cart, you know, forgotten cart emails, which is basically your very basic automation, very famous automation, an automation that a lot of people actually use. Then you have influencer outreach DM, you know, you could write outreach DMs to help you sign influencer campaigns. Moving on, you have SEO friendly product description writer, write optimized product description based on a list of product features for the best results provided as much info as possible and include SEO keywords. Then you have Google business posts writer. Okay. Get SEO optimized Google business posts for your Google business profile, social media content ideas, generate a list of 10 engaging post ideas that are tailored to the interests of your target audience, increase engagement and drive traffic. Hero image ideas, create ideas of a hero image for your web page. And then obviously there's like tons and tons of more, which like if I keep reading them on, there's like a lot more. Okay. So obviously that's your marketing and SEO. Then we move on to copywriting. Okay. And in the copywriting, there's also a lot of use cases, but let's move to this section in the end of the video. Let's go and actually actively discuss the use cases. Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and add Harpa AI to our Chrome. Okay. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and uh, here we are. Now we're going to click on add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. Here we are Harpa AI ChatGPT Chrome automation copilot. And here we go. AI agent is installed. Call Harpa AI on any website with alt a. So I'm just going to click on alt a right now. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Harpa just popped up for us. So obviously now that we know that it's working, 
let's go ahead and uh, you know discuss the use cases okay so first of all let's go ahead to a website let's go and write um, the best um, let's say uh, restaurants in L a okay I'm just gonna go ahead and write that so the best restaurants in Los Angeles okay I'm gonna go over here and uh, here we go so now we have a list of the best restaurants in Los Angeles so what can we do let's go click on alt a and see all the different commands that we can get when it comes to you know uh, your uh, Harpa so here we are access 100 in quick commands by writing slash or something like that so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here on AI and in AI obviously you can see you have tons and tons of things so if you just write slash you can get all these things so you know you can write a reply rewrite but obviously we don't really want that let's go ahead and ask it for a summary of the page okay it's gonna summarize the entire page for us and uh, you're just gonna ask it to summarize and let's wait for it to do that okay so here we go so it takes all the details of like the, the pages and then it summarizes it so refined Italian like instead of reading all of these things you can just read the summary for yourself and it saves you a lot of time you know it saves you tons and tons of time and then like the fun part is that it also gives you the proper emojis with it like let's say this is an italian restaurant so it'll give you pasta this is a japanese restaurant so it'll give you fish a uh, mexican moroccan restaurant it'll give you a taco so yeah you know you get the point and obviously there's more cases that you can use this for yourself as well okay this isn't the only case that you can use this so what you can do like as you can see it keeps giving you like you can always obviously stop it just by aborting it and let's go ahead and do this as well so here you go you have more stuff okay and uh obviously these commands up here like rewrite and stuff these will be a bit difficult for you but uh because in this case this page is already cemented in the html so you can't change it let's ask it a question on this page what place is the cheapest okay let's go ahead and ask it that you're gonna ask it what place is the cheapest out of all of these based on the information provided it seems that unfortunately i cannot directly access the page okay now basically if you ask it something that's not available on the page like obviously they're not going to tell you on this page which is the cheapest they're just going to tell you which is like the best or something like that and etc so you get the point you can ask it anything and if it has the answers it'll give you if it doesn't then it'll tell you that it doesn't have the answer now obviously you're moving up and up as you can see you have marketing and seo prompts over here that we just discussed this is the productivity prompts where you know first of all you have grammarly in your hands like uh you can fix grammar of some places if you want to and you you can also simplify text okay basically simplify texts into basic concepts now i'm gonna go and click on simplify summarize the text for a second grade student answer in you know this language and yeah let's go ahead and give it this prompt and once we give it that prompt let's go ahead and uh you know have this text talk about the best restaurants in los angeles it mentions the different types of as you can see it starts summarizing the text for like a second grader how cool is that it makes the text out so that a toddler can read it so as you can see this works really amazingly it works really great it can give you tons and tons of different prompts tons and tons of different uh, features to work out with and it's just really fun to have this in your arsenal and obviously these again these aren't the only cases that it can work in okay there are more cases that we are going to be discussing further on so more cases to discuss further on uh is first of all obviously something that uh, a lot of people you know really want is its uh ability to summarize a youtube video okay you're probably wondering how does it summarize a youtube video let me tell you basically what happens is you're gonna take this you know um this harpa ai prompt over here you're gonna take it to a youtube page okay and uh, let's say i'm gonna write youtube.com over here as so 
And once we write YouTube.com, let's wait for it to load up. Uh, now, once YouTube.com loads up and everything, uh, over here, you know, you're going to see stuff. Uh, you're going to see videos. And obviously, let's say there's a three to four hour long podcast and you want that podcast to be, you know, summarized. Like you don't want to actually go ahead and read the whole podcast because obviously no one wants to watch a five hour podcast. Maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you don't. So uh, let's go ahead and let's say there's a podcast over here and in this yeah here we go so here's a three hour podcast a three hour whole podcast like let's say you are intrigued to know what went on in this podcast but you don't actually want to watch the whole podcast so what you're going to do you're going to click on alt a as we talked about it and once you're over here we're gonna do slash and once you click on slash here you can see down here it says youtube video summary and we're gonna go ahead and click on youtube video summary as so and once you click on youtube video summary you can see that it starts doing its magic so as you can see it says save time on watching youtube videos break down youtube videos parsing video from the page long videos may take a few seconds so as you can see it's a three hour long video so it might take a few seconds to, you know, actually see what's going on in the video, actually, you know, hear what's going on in the video. And like it's going to hear all the things. And once it's done, so here you go. As you can see, it tells you the whole detail. So look at that. You know, it starts giving you all the different summaries that this is happening and that is happening, etc., etc. So, yeah, basically again another great feature so even let's say like this is just an example of a podcast let's say there's like um a video about some topic like let's say e-commerce or freelancing or cryptocurrency and that video is like about let's say uh four to five hours okay now although you do want to gain knowledge about crypto you do want to gain knowledge about freelancing etc but you don't want to sit down and watch a whole like you know four to five hour video on it so again just go ahead and use this tool for yourself and you know just uh go ahead and have fun with the different aspects that it provides you when it comes to its great ai now moving on this was obviously the video uh aspect like the youtube aspect and stuff let's go ahead and discuss about text generation okay now, in text generation, we could also talk about SEOs and stuff. So, let's say, for example, we are on some kind of store. So, let's go on the Nike store, okay, Nike.com. Let's go on Nike. And on this store, you know, you can see a lot of stuff like shoes and, you know, all the Nike products, etc. Now, over here, basically, let's say you want to have a different, uh, you could say, uh, approach to things like you want the same uh, SEO and keywords that Nike uses but obviously in your own style like you want the same keywords but you don't want to copy the whole thing so what you can do is you can come here as so on the Nike page and you can write I want my pages SEO and keywording to be exactly like this page so you're gonna enter this prompt and we're gonna click on enter and uh, obviously you're just gonna wait for it to then uh, see what it has to tell you so optimize your pages SEO and keywording and it's important to conduct through keyword searches etc identify relevant keywords you know if you want to keep it just like Nike's, you're going to have to identify the relevant stuff that's needed for proper keywording of your page. And obviously, moving on from there, you're going to have to talk about more stuff that uh, comes with the optimization of uh, the whole, you know, page that you're going to be messing around with and working around with. And then moving on, uh, there's, just, you know, a ton of more stuff 
that goes in when it comes to SEO and keywording. And SEO and keywording is extremely crucial and important to your, uh, you know, uh, pages, actual marketing and working. Now, obviously moving on, once, you know, you've gotten the whole gist of how things are, you can also explore more different kinds of prompts that, um, you know, Harp AI actually brings you. And right now it's obviously a beta version. So the speed might relatively be a bit slower, even though even for its beta version, it works pretty well. Like if you go and check the speed and everything, it works pretty nicely in my opinion. But uh, obviously uh, this is just a beta and it will get better. So do not worry. It has it will probably have more features and more speed to like blow your mind with now moving on. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go back here. As I said, we are going to discuss these bits in the last form of the video. So here we are, ChatGPT for copywriting. You know, Harp AI integrates page-aware ChatGPT commands into your web browser and lets you generate any type of text content from Twitter tweets to YouTube video scripts and Amazon descriptions. You know, first of all, you have article outline markdown, generate a content outline for your article, use in combination with article section command to generate every part of the article. Then you have article outline MECE, generate a content outline for article following MECE framework, use in combination with article section command to generate every part of the article. Then you have article section, you know, generate an article section content used in combination with article outline command first generate an article outline and then every section one by one now obviously this all lies under your copywriting and you can also like generate different texts for yourself using harp ai which is also a great thing to know and have when it comes to your pages you know basic arsenal and uh you know just great for your marketing as well marketing and keywording then uh, obviously uh moving further on uh basically you have video script writer like let's say you are a youtuber or an instagram influencer or tiktoker and uh, you know you want to write a script for your video you can always write a script for a video idea or topic best for youtube instagram and tiktok and you have customer reviews writer okay you can it could be on you know your amazon ebay etc so you can you know have proper customer reviews written pretty pretty simple pretty basic stuff and moving further on you have customer review response writers get friendly responses to a list of customer reviews which you can use on google yelp etc organize your responses nicely in a table so you can copy and paste them easily you have quora answer writer write a personalized quora answer to any question have sequential text improvements for yourself, okay, which creates a table with a list of 10 improvements for you to pick from. Keep tracks of changes already made and show an updated table after each pick from the list. There's also a buying guide writer where you can create a product buying guide. Long form article writer where you can generate a plagiarism free content for your blog. Now, this could also be used for, you know, your college applications or something like that. Now, I'm not actually recommending this, but you can obviously go ahead and use it if you want to. Then you have clickbait writer, you know, generate 20 catchy and high converting clickbaits. Then you have title writer, generate titles for a list of keywords or proper web pages. Okay. SAAS product description writer is also available. Okay. Based on the product information, create a very click enticing product name and description that encouraged to buy online perfect for saas or online products and services and then you have e-commerce product description writer where you can create a rich product description and title for your e-commerce product perfect for e-commerce products on amazon aliexpress chat.com etc and uh, obviously moving further on like uh, more stuff like e-commerce product description writer faq and answers writer song lyrics writer and there's like just much much more so you can see all these features amazing totally great and they are supposed to work amazingly for you so just go ahead and uh, trial them out if you want to totally depends on you now obviously you have more stuff like uh, yeah productivity okay so First of all, you have PagerWare ChatGPT commands, which you can put into your web browser. Get information instantly with ChatGPT on Google search. Summarize web pages, find alternatives, and extract whole pages of data.
Now you can reply, you know, write a reply to the selected text. You can also keep like, uh, you could say a proper, you know, um, template for a reply. Like, let's say whenever you want a proper reply, whenever you want to send a proper reply, you could uh, always like make sure to keep uh, a template and then you can go ahead and reply with it. So pretty simple stuff. Then uh, obviously moving further on, you have rewrite, you know, you can make changes to selected text ask questions about open page or pdf and uh, obviously then uh, like moving on there's more stuff like alternatives generate a list of alternatives you have summary where you can summarize the page which we clearly did extended summary where you can you know create a bigger summary than it normally created for you there you have youtube video summary which also we made and then uh, we have tweets where you can summarize a whole page into a tweet okay then you have contacts where you can extract contacts from the web page and uh, then moving on you have more stuff like chart where you can draw your data on chart then you have data where you can extract data from the web page you have translate where you can translate text to the specified language you have grammarly where you can correct text grammar simplify where you can simplify text into basic concepts and then to do where you can generate to-do list from an actual page content obviously moving on there's more stuff like hr and recruiting you know you can improve your resume write linkedin replies and this is really helpful for people who actually want to create a good portfolio for themselves a good resume for themselves and much more like this is just amazing for those people so make sure to uh you know work with this pretty well make sure to actually know how you know the hr and recruiting things work and uh once you know you work with that uh, it's could be pretty easy and simple for you to uh, go ahead and uh, discuss more of those things in the future and uh, then obviously further on you have job interview coach recruiter outreach dm on linkedin resume cover letter resume reviewer resume suggestions resume improver job announcement job description writer job eligibility checker upward cover letter writer fiverr geek description generator product development, spreadsheets, and much, much more. In product development, obviously, you get things for Stack Overflow. And obviously, you are going to know how to, you're like going to need to know how to work with Stack Overflow. And if you don't, I recommend that you start learning it because if you learn Stack Overflow before, you know, working, actually working with it, that would be more recommended because Stack Overflow works around a lot with coding and stuff like, you know, Java, SQL, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, C++, C Sharp and all that. So pretty simple stuff. Now, that's basically about it when it comes to discussing Harp AI. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know that as well. And I will be making more videos for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.